In today's video we are covering an interesting topic and that is five smallest countries in Europe. There is a few that you probably don't know about. So stick with us through this list of five smallest countries in Europe. But before we jump into the video, please show us your support by subscribing to our channel and liking or unliking our video so we know what you really love to watch. Number one, Vatican City. To many people the Vatican City is well known. Many people think it is just a city located within Rome, Italy. But it is actually a state and in fact the smallest independent state in the world with population of just 800 people and an area of 0.44 square kilometers. Vatican is ruled by Pope both politically and religiously. It is surrounded by a mighty medieval wall and within that wall the Vatican has its own post office, radio station, newspaper, pharmacy, train station, very big museum and the biggest Catholic church in the world. Vatican's museum is home to about 70,000 pieces of the most famous art and sculptures in the world. There is also seven churches and although there is 800 people that are living in the city, there is also another 1,900 people who work within the city and are working as a Vatican congregations, pontifical councils, dicasteries, nunciatures, clerks and so on. The economy of Vatican City is quite unique because most of the money comes from faithful people who donate money to the church and buy the sales of souvenirs, postage stamps, sales of publications and fees for admission to museum. Number 2. Monaco A popular tourist destination and place for the rich is located on the French Riviera in Western Europe. It is bordered by Mediterranean Sea to the south and France to the east, west and north. State is governed under a form of constitution monarchy with Prince Albert II as a head of state. There is living 39,500 people on an area of 2.1 square kilometers. That makes Monaco the most densely populated sovereign state in the world. Monaco is widely recognized for being one of the most expensive and wealthiest places in the world. State has no income taxes and business taxes are very low. It really is a tax haven. That is also a reason why over 30% of population are millionaires. In recent years it became a major banking center but it wasn't always a recreation place for the rich or a popular tourist destination. It all started with the opening of the state's first casino, the Monte Carlo Casino, and a railway connection to Paris in late 19th century. From 1929, Monaco annually hosts street circuit motor race Monaco Grand Prix, which is considered to be one of the most important and prestigious automobile races in the world. And as a curiosity, Monaco has the shortest coastline in the world, 3.83 kilometers long. Number 3. San Marino Third smallest country is just like Vatican City enclaved by Italy. It is located on the northeastern side of the Apennine Mountains, covers an area of 61 square kilometers and there is living 34,000 people. Unlike Vatican and Monaco, San Marino has few small settlements and a capital named City of San Marino located atop of the Mount Titan which is also highest peak in San Marino standing 739 meters above sea level. Mount Titan has three peaks and all three have their own tower. The Guaita, which is the oldest and most famous, the Sesta, this one is located on the highest peak on the mount, and the Montale, which unlike other two isn't open to public. Its democratically elected legislature, the Grand and General Council, must elect two heads of the state every six months. They are known as Captain's Regent and are heads of the states for just 6 months, no less or more. The country's economy is mainly based on tourism, finance, industry and service. GDP per capita is comparable to the most developed European regions and that makes San Marino one of the wealthiest countries in the world. San Marino also claims being the oldest constitutional republic and the oldest extant sovereign state. If you have come this far into the video, we would be glad if you could show us your support by liking the video and subscribing to the channel and ring that bell if you don't want to miss any video we upload. Number 4. Liechtenstein 
in the middle of Europe, located in beautiful Alps between Switzerland and Austria, is laying a German-speaking microstate Liechtenstein. The principality is headed by the Prince of Liechtenstein, Prince Hans Adam II, who is also Europe's wealthiest monarch and one of the world's richest heads of state. On 160 square kilometer area lives around 38,200 people. Liechtenstein is divided into 11 municipalities. Those are Ragel, Schellenberg, Gamprin, Eschen, Moren, Schaan, Planken, Triesenberg, Triesen, Walzers and Vadus. In Vadus municipality is also Vadus city which is Liechtenstein capital and municipality Schaan is the largest. Liechtenstein has one of the highest gross domestic products per person in the world when it comes to purchasing power parity and very strong financial sector located in Vadus. That's why in previous years it was known as billionaire's tax haven. Now it is no longer on any official blacklist of uncooperative tax haven countries. But because Liechtenstein is an alpine country it is great for winter sports. Liechtenstein is also the smallest country to border two countries. Number 5. Malta Republic of Malta is located in southern Europe in the Mediterranean Sea and is the only country on this list that is an island country and is consisting of an archipelago. It is governed by President George William Vela and the House of the Representatives in which is 65 people. President and members of the House of Representatives are changed every five years. Malta is lying 80 kilometers of Italy, has an area of 316 square kilometers and has population of 443,000 people, which makes it the fourth most densely populated independent state in the world. And Valletta is the capital city, has an area of 0.61 square kilometers and that makes it the smallest national city in the European Union. Because Malta is in very warm climate, it is very popular tourist destination. It also has quite unique landscape. It was used as double for filming over 100 films from historic periods including ancient Greece, ancient and modern Rome, the Middle East, Iraq and many more. That also contributed a lot to Maltese economy. There is also seven beautiful megalithic temples which are some of the oldest freestanding structures in the world. That was all for today's video. If you have enjoyed it and would like to learn more about Europe, feel free to check our channel and learn a thing you are curious about and I will see you in the next one.